In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, you can see here I have given kind of an origami style where I have added the step one here. You can add the title, detail text along with the icon. When I click, it will show me with different color the second option or the step two. Then this is the step three and this is the step four. I have created two slides, one with animation, another without animation. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select a rectangle, draw a rectangle, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to add one more right triangle here. You can see, select the right triangle and just draw it something like this and make sure that it is properly aligned and if you want you can just reduce the width also so now let me just select make this also no outline and you can just zoom in to just to make sure that it is properly aligned so it looks okay for me all right otherwise what happens here is sometimes it looks like this or something like this so we need to be extra careful all right so we have to make sure that this is properly aligned so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more rectangle which i'm going to cover from the beginning till here shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to select white and send this to back all right then i'm going to add few more right triangles okay let me just add one right triangle and shape outline no outline and shape fill let me just give some darker color and then i can just rotate it all right you can see here flip vertical and then i can make it flip horizontal so i end up getting something like this and i'm going to add one more press ctrl d and this time i'm just going to make it somewhat lighter color all right and i can just reduce the size also and this one I'm just going to make it flip vertical, tilt a little bit, all right, and put it here the end and send this to back. So we end up getting something like this. Again, if you want to tilt a little bit, you can tilt it, zoom it, and make sure that it is properly aligned, all right. So let me just align it, all right. So let it be like this. Now I'm going to select this shape and this shape, go to format, merge shape and then make it union. And if you want, you can add some shadow effect also, but let me just select all these things and I'm going to place it here. All right. And then you can go to insert text box. I'm going to type step step center align, make it white font and if you want you can just increase the size and make it some shadow effect here and put it press ctrl d to duplicate and this one i'm going to make it step zero one make it bold increase the size you can see here and then put it here step one all right so let me just move the step somewhat up and then go to insert text box you can add title here this also make it bold reduce the size and you can give the same color all right and i'm going to place it here and then you can add some detailed text at the bottom okay reduce the size and i'm going to place it here if you want you can make it some gray color and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint i can add the icons also for that let me just add one line add a line here by holding the shift key you get a perfect straight line shape outline give it gray color 
all right so let me just make it something like this and go to insert icons and you can select any icon of your choice all right and make the height and width as 0.5 inches and I'm going to place it exactly in the center so once this is done I can select all press ctrl G to group it let me just move out move somewhat up press ctrl D to duplicate this is my second third and fourth now this will be my step two this is my step three and this is my step four and if you want you can just select this one right mouse click go to format shape and give some different color for example i want to give some light color here this one i want to give some dark colors and here i want to give some light color again all right so like this so you can just uh, change the colors as per your requirement and you can just add the icon of your choice also so like this we can just make it now if you want you can select all you can move this one and if you want to add four more you can duplicate this and you can add it like this also so it's up to you how many options you want to add